Right, it's the 22nd of April 2018. I've been doing loads and loads of churches in Norwich. A lot of them redundant. Some are antique places now, I just sell stuff. Um, I haven't been able to video all the time. I did manage to video inside one when there are people and it's when it was turned into an, an antique place. Um, but um, basically I haven't been able to video every single one. I haven't been able to get in them all. But that doesn't matter. I've actually found the one that's uh, my great 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 grandfather was baptised in. Now this is all mills and silk area docks and all that round here in the past so it's quite possible that they could have been so with a name like Hyson they could have been from France or Holland somewhere like that I'll find out in a minute well not today I just I've just found the church I've done all the other churches. I've kept this one to last, more or less. See, that says Silkfields. I've kept this one to last, more or less. And this is called Mandela Close, opposite Mandela Close. You've got a little church, like no tower. It looks very um, old. It does look old, actually. It's called a Contemporary Academy of Music now. That one up there. And there's a round towered one I seen a minute ago. And I've I've taken loads and loads of photographs. Ah, now there we've got a pub, got the white line, I'm gonna go in there in a minute. Gonna have a drink. And I'm really, I don't care who's in there. So this could this could be it. This could be it. It does look very old, I must admit, it does. Pebble dashed. Um, I doubt if it's open. It probably is open in the week. Um, but it's better than this is this is the place where the ancestors were baptized. Here we go, look. St. Martin's Hall. And over here, the church of St. Martin at Oak, the church built to the glory of God, is now in the care of the Nash Norwich Historic Church Trust. In using this building, remember its origin with thanksgiving. So this is it, everyone. St. Martin at Oak. I've asked some local people, they've never heard of it. I'm going to have a little look in. Might be able to see something through the window. You can see something there. It looks like quite a basic church. Maybe it was Quakerish. Yeah, maybe it was Quakerish. No pews or anything, no dormants on the walls. That's about all I can see. There's a spider on me at the moment. But this is where my, my ancestors probably touched this wall, see? I've touched this wall. Now it's the Wharf, Contemporary Academy of Music, a current and relevant provision of musical education in school. We just have to look for marks. 
different marks on the walls and everything. And then there's this old wooden beam, look. St. Martin's Hall. I mean, you can't go in, you have to look for other things. It doesn't tell us anything, we have to look it up online to find out exactly. There's something written on there. I don't know what that says. Looks like it's. Oh, I don't know. I'll take a picture of that in a minute. I'm just doing video first. Sometimes if you take a picture of something, it comes out. Oh, yeah, look, this would have been another doorway, wouldn't it? Here, and a little plinth, maybe of, of a statue. Yeah, so this would have been a doorway. I'm just looking for anything I can that might reveal a bit more about it. There's some church, there are some gravestones, footstones up against the wall there. Martin at Oak, because this is Oak Street here. This is Oak Street. There would have been railings on here in the past, and then the old photos would have had railings, you see. And there's a church like every, not every mile, every hun couple hundred yards around here. There's loads of them. Yeah, this has got a camera on it as well, at the back, look. A camera there. You sometimes just get a different perspective if you get a bit further away. wonder what's in there. That looks like an old warehouse, doesn't it? Oh, it goes down deep, though. Into a basement. That's really worn away, isn't it? But turn off them and take some photos.